Are you excited? Yeah. Why are you zooming in? Because I can. <laughs> you always have to zoom in for dramatic effect. So it's finally come that after 13 years, we get to leave for Europe today. I'm very excited. like airport food before we have to travel because uh, it's a little bit early and it's uh, you know time for a little bit of a snack before we board up so usually this is not my normal type of intro you know I got my little saying I guess if you will it's something that I thought was cool for myself but today we're you know, it's just a different type of vibe because we're going to Europe and it's been 13 years since I've lived there and been there so it's been kind of unreal for me to think that I'm getting to go back right now so we're just kind of gearing up for the boring part of the travel but excited at the same time because I haven't done a nine hour flight in so long so uh, we'll be putting some goodies throughout this you know taking some cool photos and everything so be ready for the ride guys and now we wait until we get to board here shortly time to start boarding my dude on a scale of 1 to 10 pills, how, how excited are you? 11. 11. Uh, Stranger Things, basically, so, yeah. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Time to fly! Missing my dog. He's jerky. Finally here in Germany and off the plane, so I don't know why I was looking at the screen, but we're here. So yeah, well, it's time to get our baggage and go to the train. We've made it to the main station here in Frankfurt and we're just gonna wait until our next uh, train, but you know, chill some, kill some time right now. So far, it's been a great trip. Uh, kind of tired. Sleeping on an airplane is never fun unless you probably, I guess, have first class. And um, I don't think United is there yet to hook it up, but eventually we'll we'll get there. But it's kind of funny to me that a small here is like. In Texas, this would be a tiny thing, and I forget about the sizes of things, so what? Uh, this would be a sample, according to Kelsey. But, pretty good, pretty good. I'm excited uh, soon enough to see my best friend. It's been about like 10 years since I've seen him, because he came to visit me when I was in the U.S. after I moved back from Germany, so it'll be cool. I'm not Ten years. <laughs> That's Philip. <laughs> Philippe. And Kelsey's in the back. Uh, sorry, Kels. Uh, this is this is me time. Uh, it's, it's been it's uh, it's been forever. So we are finally. When did we see each other? Twenty eleven. Yeah. Whenever you came. Uh, yeah. It's crazy times. You have like the blinding. <laughs> the blinding lights. German light is quite nice, actually. Our assistant over there just working hard. Not really. Let's get that natural lighting in here for. So apparently we got two twin beds, uh, which. Um, <laughs> 
we are just gonna have to push those together because they don't push together. Oh, of course they don't push together. So I guess I, I can starfish it out. Sounds great. Okay. So right now we're just gonna be chilling at the hotel for a bit and then we're gonna go explore Würzburg so that we can take some photos and see what else we can come up with for the rest of this video for today. It's the new vlogging setup right here with the 35 to 150 be up close and personal. The only reason I'm using this right now is because we're gonna go out and take some photos. So if I wanna do some videoing, I have my lab mic right there so I can be farther away and my wife will help me out to film and just to, you know, not bring out too much gear on the first day just yet. These are the gardens here that we got. They call them Hofgarten. But yeah, looks really nice. So we're here at this like little castle kind of garden area. It has a lot of cool little things. So we're gonna walk around and take some photos, see what else we can find. Um, been using the Tamron 35 to 150 with the a7 IV for video and photos right now, but now I'm gonna kind of have my a7S III for the vlogging part more. That way I can also get some behind the scenes uh, shots as much as possible, but I'm gonna be doing a bit of filming with both cameras. That's the reason why I brought these both. So it's been a nice little day right now. It's a very nice climate and it's only 5'11 and I'm not dying of heat like how I would in Texas. We haven't uh, gone to, back with my friend yet, but we will in a bit to have some dinner and food. But for now, we decided to go explore, even though we're very jet lagged, but in a good way, because you gotta make the best of every little moment. Part of me still doesn't believe that I'm back in Germany. Love the architecture here and just different lifestyle in a good way. Missed it. See, this is something I truly do believe though. Whenever you're just very tired of the same scenery of your hometown and you go somewhere else, you feel inspired that you can create it with anything because you have like, you know, bright, bright eyes into every scenario to just see something new and it just helps create. So that's something that I'm really noticing right now. I'm trying to make the best of every little detail and take as many photos and videos as I can. It's a very nice area. Very, 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 very nice. You can see a lot of things, uh, a lot of nice architecture, nice people. But now, the cool thing about this area as well is that I'm able to be creative when I couldn't be creative, I felt like back home because it felt repetitive to me. So this video is kind of not about anything, but just getting to come back to Germany after 13 years and just feeling that inspiration to just create, so been pretty good because honestly it just felt a little stagnant when it was just being at home so now being able to travel a little bit more has been awesome to create these content and I'm just having a blast and I wanted to just bring you along with me because just to showcase how I'm you know carrying my stuff to be able to create how it's been going so far with being able to create with this gear so it's been stellar I'm excited to keep creating more content. We're about to be to my best friend's apartment to see it for the first time because uh, whenever we were younger, we we're like 16 and obviously he lived with his parents and I lived with the host family. So now I get to see his place. I used to play with some of those when I played live the first time I ever came to a given year. Yes, that's the, that's the one that I played my first show ever in, in Germany. Crazy to be here, but it's nice, is it not? You think it's nice, guys? Mm -hmm. yeah. Very nice apartments here in Germany. Love them. <laughs>
Mm. Haven't had German beer in so long. In actual Germany, though, because in Texas, German beer doesn't count. Well, we're back into the hotel room after exploring our first day here in Würzburg. Um, it's been quite cool to just experience a different city in a different country and just continent. It's been a while since I've been able to be back in Germany to be with my best friend and just get to explore a little bit more. Got to do some cool photos and just, you know, take our time and capture some videos and everything. And you, you guys saw everything. So I thought it was pretty cool to just use the 17 to 28 Tamron and the 35 to 150. That's been my setup when it comes down to, for my lenses, especially for the travel. And then having my A7S III, my A7 IV, just to make sure that I have all my bases covered whenever it comes down to photo and video. Now, could I have just only brought my a7 IV? Probably, but it's good to have a security of a second camera just in case. And now I can make my vlogging a lot easier to not have to change lenses back and forth. Since I have the peak design on my uh, camera bag back there um, to where I can just hook one camera while I'm taking photos, unhook it, put the other one, and then do the vlogging part of it. Just kind of seems a little bit smoother to me personally. I kind of was a little bit hesitant at first. I was like, oh, maybe it's not gonna be ideal, but so far it's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. But all in all, I thought it's been a great, you know, kind of push for my creativity to just be somewhere else and be able to just see somewhere new and just take some cool photos and experience it. That is just quite phenomenal in my opinion since I haven't been able to do that in quite a while. This is my first big trip in at least three years, especially internationally. Um, and then especially to Europe, it's been a lot longer. So it's pretty cool to, to bring you guys along with me just to like see the, you know, this uh, experience of mine again. Hopefully it's entertaining and you've enjoyed uh, experiencing it again with me. Got to see some cool little sites already. So I can't wait for the rest of the trip. Got a lot more cities and countries to see. So you'll get to experience those with me as well. So make sure to keep in check on that. But with all that said and done, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Share this video with a friend. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.